Hello, welcome to Yin Yoga. So this Yin Yoga class is probably going to be kind of really borderline restorative as well. We're going to get into all movements of the spine. So that's going to be forward flexion, extension. So we'll come into a back bend, right and left flexion and twisting. We'll also get into the hips a little bit here with the psoas because a tight one can often cause low back pain. So we want to make sure we're nice and supple there. Prop wise, I am bringing in a bolster cushion. You can also use a very sturdy pillow. You can stack blankets on top of each other. You can take two blocks, put blankets on top of the blocks to simulate a bolster just so that it's a little bit soft if you need that as well. And I just have two extra blankets. One of them I'm gonna sit on. Um, this other one I have folded like this. And then I'm gonna fold it again for a neck pillow when we come into the back bend. So my head and neck have a little bit more support. Um, so just be mindful of that. And from here, we will come into our opening. So finding a comfortable seat, nice and tall from crown to tail, zipping up from pubic bone to behind the navel, slight tuck in the chin. So we'll bring in that breath. Inhaling through the nose, expanding that rib cage, and slowly releasing. Big inhale, slow exhale. One more time, big inhale and expand. Hold the breath at the top. And slowly release. Good. Let's take fingertips to the side, palms turning up. Inhale, reach, 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 and lengthen, touching palms together. Exhale, hands and heart center. Good. Connecting with an intention. Now, you're always welcome to choose your own. I'm going to give you one today called Ahimsa. So, Ahimsa means do no harm. And we'll talk about different things as we go along. Once you have that set, we'll inhale, take it up, turning palms away, grow taller from crown to tail. Good, let's take the arms back up, get a nice little side bend. I'm gonna go to the left, reaching, sits bones rooted, and then you choose where you wanna go here. You can stay here, you can side bend deeper, you can open up to the back, or a little C curve roll, forehead in the direction of the knee by not touching, Belly button into the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, move through center. Go right into that other side. Reaching over. Good. And then you choose. You can stay here. You can side bend deeper. You can choose to open up towards the back. Or that C curve roll, belly button into the spine, forehead in the direction of the knee, but not touching. And inhale and lengthen. Exhale, coming up, reach up, rotating towards the left. Arms come down, rolling the shoulders back, maybe looking a little bit more behind you. Breathe and expand. Remember, we don't want to crank through the low back. And when we're ready, inhale and lift. Exhale, center, inhale, exhale, taking that to the other side. Arms come down, roll the shoulders back, looking behind you. And lift and come back to center. Good, let's get into it. Let's start with side lying first. So since my bolster just happens to be on the left side, I'm gonna lie over it on the left side. So I'm just gonna bring this in. Good. I'm just gonna take this other blanket out that I was sitting on here. Good. Now, different things for different people. So you might need some kind of head or neck support. So you might wanna have something handy, but you might not need that. And I don't know if I'll need it for sidelines. So I'm just gonna have that right there. Good. So from here, I'm bringing this all the way into my hips. Your legs, 
mine like to stay bent a little bit. They can be long. You can have one bent, one long. It's all about what feels comfortable for you. There is no rule here, but when you're ready, good. I'm going to, and fill in this space. So again, another tip here too, if you're someone who has a longer torso, you can take a blanket on top of your bolster and that will give you a little bit more, um, a little bit more support is what I'm trying to say. Good. So we'll just come right over here. Good. Now it does seem that I will need a little bit of a pillow here. So I'm just going to take that. So you want shoulder and everything to come off. Good. And you want the shoulders and the hips to be in alignment here. So you don't want your shoulders to be up here and your hips being here. Just kind of be where you need to be. Arm will come over here if you need that. We'll be here for about three and a half minutes today. We're going to get nice and juicy into these movements. Breathe and expand. You can keep eyes open or closed. So ahimsa, do no harm. No harm to self, no harm to others. So we all know about the physical, not causing people physical harm, or causing ourselves physical harm. What about in the words we say? The text or the post that we type. If it's not something you would say to their face, probably don't need to be texting or posting it. Okay. Breathe and expand. And from here, I'm a little bit more open, so I'm just gonna move this over. Oh, yeah. I'll let my earpiece come out here. Good. Okay. So breathe and expand. So ahimsa is the first of several yamas that we call in yoga in the eight limbed path. And the yamas are ethics, behaviors. And ahimsa, do no harm, is that first one. Really expand that rib cage on the breath. Belly button is still in here. Always reconnecting with breath. And then from here, good. Carefully in the way that's best for you. I'm just gonna take a hand up. We'll carefully come up from there. You've been sidelining for a while, so be mindful, careful not to come up too fast. From here, we're just gonna take that to the other side. So I'm just gonna take my bolster over to the other side. Good. And I'll reset our seconds here. 
And so then when you're ready, good. We're all the way up against that bolster. Fill in any space here if you need to do that. And we'll take that all the way back over. Good. Being here for three and a half minutes. And this is the side I tend to cough on because I have a lot of holding patterns on my left side. So if you cough, just let yourself cough. Let your body getting rid of something that it doesn't need any longer. <coughs> there I go right there. Good. So Ahimsa, do no harm, no harm to self. What about the food that you choose, the mind-body connections that you choose, are self-limiting beliefs harming and holding you back in some way? We'll talk about animals in a moment, but you know, if you were to take care of yourself as well as you do your pets, how would life be different for you? Breathe and expand, coming back. Good, and then from here when you're ready, carefully come up from there. Good, be kind to yourself. Good, now from here, this is exactly where I want this bolster to be to come into supported back bend. And I'm gonna bring this folded blanket in here because I know that my neck and head want support and that supported back bend. I'm just gonna have that right there. Okay, so from here, good. I wanna pull this bolster all the way up against myself. And at, before we go back here, there's a few things. So you will likely see me keep my legs long. Different people need different things. Some people are fine with long legs. Some people need to put a bend in their knees to help their low back feel good. Others prefer crisscross applesauce. So do with your legs what you need to do with your legs to make this work for you. So from here, I'm just gonna take this back. Good. So you want your shoulders to be off of here. Good, and you can support your head and your neck. Arms are just gonna be here by the side. And then when we're ready, 
will be here for three and a half minutes. So again, ahimsa, no harm to self, no harm to others. We talked about people. What about animals? Can you take the thought one step further versus just the thought of, well, just don't be mean to animals. And we certainly don't wanna be mean to animals. But what about kindness in another way? So with regard to food, I'm not necessarily saying that everybody needs to be a vegetarian. That's not appropriate for everybody. But there's ways that you can be kinder to animals and how you shop. So can you get cage-free, pasture-raised, no antibiotics, no growth hormones? Do you choose products that are not tested on animals versus products that are? So you can be kind to animals in other ways. Breathe and expand. From here, when you're ready, in the way that's best for you, carefully come to a seat. So I'm gonna roll over to my side and then come up to a seat. Good. And then from here, good. So we've done right and left flexion. We've done extension. Now we're gonna come into forward flexion. So this is the caterpillar. And again, different things for different people. Some of you might need to sit up on a blanket if you're really tight in the hips and you need to be a little bit higher. Some of you are gonna take a bolster, maybe you rest it on your legs or between your legs if you need or want that support as you forward fold. Others are not gonna use any props here. So find where you want to be. I am gonna take my pelvis into an anterior tilt. So that means I'm taking my tailbone back hip bones forward. If you're really tight in the hamstrings, maybe roll up a blanket or a hand towel to keep under here so you don't have to think about keeping your knees a little bit bent. So again, ahimsa, no harm to self, be kind to yourself. Give yourself what it needs, big inhale and reach. Exhale, I'm gonna hinge forward with the long spine just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take that little fold. Good, so we'll be here for three and a half minutes. 
Think about breathing and expanding into the low and the mid back area and relax your shoulders here. Let your body gradually come into caterpillar as it's ready. You don't want to drop deeper as it's ready. Come back to ahimsa. Come back to the breath. So this can also be a tricky pose to a lot of people. So again, keeping do no harm to self in mind. If you need to back off of something or come out of completely, then listen to your body and do that. Relax the shoulders. From here, remember low back is typically more vulnerable and at the end of caterpillar, so carefully come up out of there. Good. Now I know we normally go a little bit of a twisty here when we come out, but we're actually gonna go right into that twist on our backs. So carefully make your way onto your back. I'm just gonna move some props out of the way here. And as you come onto your back, if you need to take the knees into the chest real quick, just listen to yourself and do so. So we're gonna come into a basic supine twist here. Good. So we'll take the knees and tabletop, arms out to the side. Good, I'm just gonna kind of move over a little bit, just make sure I've got room. Good, big inhale, exhale. We'll take that over to the left. Good. Trying to keep right shoulder grounded, maybe looking to the right. And breathe and expand. So again, Ahimsa. We talked about no harm to self and people in general. No harm to animals. What about society at large? 
Do you support companies that support fair trade and fair labor practices? What about diversity and inclusion? Not just necessarily in companies, but in the circle of friends, the organizations where you belong. So from here, when you're ready, head will come back to center. One leg at a time back to center. We want to be gentle here. Good. You can wiggle, 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 letting things reset themselves. And then when you're ready, good. Knees will come back in the tabletop. Arms will come back out. Big inhale. Exhale. Take those knees over to the right. Trying to keep left shoulder grounded as you look to the left. Breathe and expand. And so a Henson society at large, we talked about fair trade and fair labor, diversity and inclusion. What about sustainable practices? Recycling or going green as financially feasible. And I say that because solar is a big item right now, um, but solar is very expensive. So if going solar would cause you to go bankrupt and worry about how you're going to pay your bills for the next several months and cause anxiety, I could argue that that's doing harm to yourself. So sustainable when feasible. Full disclosure, I say that because my husband and I would totally go solar if it was cheaper. Cost is what holds us back from that. And we do recycle.
From here, when you're ready, head will come back to center. Carefully take one leg at a time back to center. Good, wiggle, 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 side to side. All right, so we're gonna get into the hip just a little bit here um, real quick. So if you need to take your legs long for a moment, just getting a nice little stretchy, go ahead and do that. But from here, good. I am going to take us down a little bit in time because this one can be a bit rough for three and a half minutes. So we're gonna come into happy baby. We'll be here for two minutes. So from here or happy adult, if that's a better option. So you can take yogi toe, yogi foot inside or outside and come here to the happy baby, lengthening from crown to tail. If this is not for you, it's a little bit easier to come to happy adult, just holding on at the ankles or the shins. It's a little bit less intense on the joints, but you're still opening things in the same way. So find happy baby or happy adult. We're still zipping up from pubic bone to behind the navel, lengthening from crown to tail. Remember Ahimsa, do no harm. From here, carefully, carefully release out of there. We're gonna take the feet down to the floor. Good. So we're gonna come into the psoas opener here. So this is a muscle that starts in the low back, kind of wraps around and goes to the front. Um, it's one of our hip flexors that does so much for us. It's also part of the core musculature. But we're going to take our feet as wide as your mat. Good. And then from here, we're gonna let the knees come towards the right. Now, when you do that, that left hip's gonna come up a little bit. We wanna press the inner arch of the left foot into your mat. As long as the left hip, left knee, left lower back and everything feel okay, you can stay here or move on. If not, you wanna come out. So if you're moving on with me, you can stay here or pick up that right ankle, put it on top of the left thigh. Good, and just settle in here. Everything still needs to be okay. So if there's any funny business going on anywhere on the left side, we wanna back off or come out until we don't. So Ahimsa, no harm to self. That includes with our poses.
My way button is still in tight here. From here, carefully, carefully undo. Take your feet as wide as the mat. Get a little gentle windshield wiper here. And then when you're ready, we'll take that to the other side. So from here, feet are as wide as the mat. We'll take the knees over towards the right. When, or left rather, when you do that, that right hip's gonna come up, pressing the right inner arch of that foot into your space. So again, everything needs to feel okay on this right side. If not, we wanna come out. And if you're okay with it, you can stay here or move on. If you're moving on, take the left ankle on top of the thigh and gently ease in. You need to be on the thigh, not the knee joint. So again, do no harm. If at any point you need to back off or come out completely, please do so. From here, when you're ready, carefully undo, coming back to center. Good, wiggle, 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 gently side to side. One last time, take the knees into the chest, maybe rock, 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 side to side. Maybe roll those ankles in one direction and then in the other. And from here, when you're ready, we're gonna go into our Shavasana from here. So I'm gonna bring in one of my blankets as a little neck pillow, bringing in my bolster here to go underneath my legs because that feels good to me. Good. And then from here, once you get situated with where you're gonna go, knowing you can always be on your side, on your belly, if on the back is not where you need to be, see if you can make yourself about 10% more comfortable. And I will leave you here for a few moments, contemplating that intention, sinking into the heart space.
Taking some deep breaths here. Choose stillness or gently take head and neck from side to side. Choose stillness or invite movement of fingers and toes, maybe running thumbs along the edges of the fingertips. Choosing stillness or taking knees into the chest, choosing to keep the upper body lower, or maybe you want to tuck the chin, lifting the upper body, giving yourself a full body hug. And choosing stillness or moving any props that you used out of the way, taking your legs long in front of you, arms long behind you, and reach and lengthen from the edge of the fingertips, the edge of the toes, full body stretch, point and flex through the feet. Bend and stretch through the hands, twirling wrists and ankles in one direction and then in the other. And from here, whenever you're ready, carefully bending in both knees and you choose rolling over onto your right or left side, the side that works best for you in this moment. Taking all the time you need here. And when you're ready, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat whatever that looks like for you. Good, finding a nice tall spine, noticing how you feel. Palms up towards the ceiling, inhale and reach, touching palms together, exhale and heart center. Reconnecting with that intention you made for yourself or ahimsa, no harm to self, no harm to others. One more time. And we'll take thumbs to forehead for good and true thoughts to our lips for good and kind words and to our hearts for open and loving hearts. Knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted. No gain is ever reversed. May you be safe. May you stay well. May you have a wonderful day, evening, week, month, season ahead. Namaste.